you? Yeah. Yes. yes! I know, right? It's August. We're having the best summer ever. Um, I've been out here for like 10 summers working, and in that time, I've had about 20 jobs, literally. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this summer, I, I'm working at four. My favorite job right now is what I did today, actually. I worked uh, over at Mitchell's Book Corner. And I love it. I love it. I love the interaction with the customers. I love meeting people. I love talking about books. I love talking about the island. Whatever. So I get this woman that comes in today. She's so adorable. And she comes in and she's like, oh, meow, meow. I, um, I, I need a book. I'm like, great. Look where you are. I'm like, okay, oh, yeah, how many of you guys read? <laughs> Do you guys read? Like three of them. You don't read? Okay, good. So you guys know what books are, right? <laughs> okay, so she comes to the bookstore, she's so cute. She's like, I need a book. I'm like, you're in the right place. She's like, but um, I don't know the name of it. I'm like, okay, that's okay. Well, you know, we're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. <laughs> Who do you think wrote it? Maybe author's name? She's like, well, I I don't know. I'm like, okay, okay, that's okay. We'll, we're gonna figure this out. Do you know like maybe what the author's name starts with? She's like, I think it's a B. I'm like, okay, great, like maybe Dan Brown or Brinkley, like, okay, we're gonna find this. She's like, well, I think the B is in the middle of the <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Okay, that's all right. No problem. No problem. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna sell you a book. What about do you know what the subject is about? Um no. <laughs> no. But I know that Marsha. Her book club read it last summer for their book club reading. I'm like, great, okay, great. Can we, can we call Marsha? I'm like, that'd be awesome. Like, let's call Marsha right now. Hey, I don't have Marsha's number. I'm like, oh no. Okay, no problem. No problem. I'm gonna show you what book I'm reading, and actually it starts with a B. And she bought it. So yay! like so awkward and then um, last week like we finally had now that we have nice weather we have people coming over from the Cape and just coming for the day you know on the boat and whatnot and so we, we love the day trippers because they come in they like shop they go to every shop on Main Street and they come to us on the corner of Ma you know Main and Orange and this woman came in like frantic she was like oh my god, oh my god I, 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 I have a question I'm like great I have an answer she's like um okay where I need to know where Starbucks is. <laughs> awesome! Oh my god, awesome, awesome. This, you're talking about how Starbucks saved my life? I got it. I got it right here for you. It's awesome. It's a memoir. You're gonna love it. No, 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 ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. No, no. I, no, just Starbucks. Oh, okay, so got it. Got it. You're talking about the Starbucks family. Okay. This is their genealogical history from 1635 to 1985. Glad to help you. No, 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 ma'am. No, no, no. No, that's not it either. I'm sorry. Starbucks. Like the coffee? Like I want I, coffee. I go, okay, got it, got it. You're talking about Starbucks. Is this it? <laughs> she looks at me. She looks at this. She's like, I want a cup of coffee! <laughs> I'm like, I'm so, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I, I, I work at a bookstore, not a coffee shop. So. If you have a cup of coffee, you can go down the street and have a cup of coffee for you even cute. But I mean, it's great. It's like, that's what we deal with. You know what I mean? Like, every day someone wants to know what restaurant to eat in, and I have no problem, like, introducing them to the island that I love. So, um, the last thing I just want to tell you guys was that 10 years ago, um, in the summer, I started the improv group on this stage. And um, basically, I worked for $75 a week at this theater. I'd stage manage every show, I set up, I painted, I had lights, I did everything. And then one night opened. And instead of giving Molly a night off, they said, what would you like to do uh, on Sunday night? Because Kevin Flynn does his comedy on Monday, and we have Sunday nights open. And I was like, you know, I love to start an improv group because I've done improv in college, I've studied a little bit in Chicago, where I'm from, whatnot, so I started an improv group. So we come, we do improv every Sunday night, and it's still running. Has anyone seen it? Woo! Yeah! Awesome. <laughs> well, I'm not in charge of it anymore, but I still come and see them, and sometimes I play with them, and it's really fun. So we have this gig, uh, one of our little skits, and we do, um, it's called National Geographic. And I sit 
with um, one of the other improvisers, and we sit next to each other, and he, we describe freeze frame slides. So we like play the game with National Geographic. And I get three suggestions from the audience. I get an animal, I get a characteristic about that animal, and I get a place. So this particular night, it's an ant eating polar bear from like Montego Bay, Jamaica. <laughs> 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 like, whatever. You know, we've done it all, doesn't matter. So Chris and I are sitting next to each other. My improvisers are all, we usually line this, you know, the stage with the chairs. So meanwhile, right before I came into the show, I ran into my friend Captain Brian. I could smell Captain Brian's breath from about a block away. Like he had been obviously belly up at the bar all of a sudden. <laughs> Where are you going? I go, I'm going to my improv show, come and see us, like whatever. So I get in, you know, I start hosting the improv and whatever, and he's actually sitting right where you are. So, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, Captain Ryan's here, great, you know, but he'll be fine, whatever, he's just coming to see the show, he's hammered up my pants out. Well, meanwhile, during we uh, start the National Geographic show, the, uh, the skit, and what happens is we set up the plot and the lights go down to black. And my second improvisers get into like crazy, you know, they get into like this random like formation of like whatever they do. Like some people are like this, and some people are like doing things on the, you know, whatever. And the lights come up and we describe the slides. We're like, oh, that's when the polar bear is mating, you know. <laughs> so sure enough, we're doing like two slides. Lights come down. Next thing you know, lights come up. Chris and I are here. And Captain Brian is in the middle. <laughs> I look at Chris, he looks at me, we smile, and the whole audience is like, has no idea. And we're like, okay. <laughs> and there's the empty seat, right? <laughs> okay, great. Um, so this man was uh, a tourist uh, from America, in Jamaica, you know, we bought it. <laughs> Whatever, let's just hurry the skit up and like get it over. Lights go down, he lights go back up, he's still on stage. <laughs> this time, he is on all fours, and I'm not even kidding, like this, over another female improviser that's on the <laughs> And I am like a deer in headlights. I'm like, are you kidding me? He is not going to see me right now. He is not going to see me right now. So we, Chris and I, are like, oh, and then that tourist just wouldn't leave, and. <laughs> And then lights go down, lights go back up. Captain Brian is now doing a handstand where my improvisers are holding each one of his legs. And, we're, and all of a sudden, Chris and he goes, Oh my God, that slide's not supposed to be in here. It's the bachelor party that I went to last weekend in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> lights down, lights down. <laughs> that slide. So in the dark, I say, Okay, let's, this is the last slide of the National Geographic. I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Like, let's just show it and get this get over. Lights come back up. Captain Brian, projectile vomit <laughs> across the stage. The audience has no idea what to do. The audience is like, oh my god! Did you see that? Did that just really happen? And it did. And I think, Kara, did we clean it? Is this the spot right here? Yep. Um, yep. So we clean. We take one of my improviser shirts up. Clean it up, and the scene is done. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, you're gonna have so much fun tonight. Kevin Flynn has been doing stand-up for 18 years on the island, which of, I've known him for 10. He's done Sex in the City, Dumb and Dumber.